From Elon challenging Mark to a cage fight after calling him a social media bully, to the two richest men alive having a history of tech rivalry. Here's why Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg would be the biggest fight in history. It all started when Musk went to his favorite social media fighting space, Twitter, and threw some massive shade at Zuckerberg. Many people think that the relationship between the two got tense when Meta announced their plans to launch a text-based social network that would directly compete with Twitter. Also, during an all-hands meeting at Meta, Facebook, and Instagram's parent company, the chief product officer said it was time to create a version of Twitter that is sanely run. Soon after this comment was made, Elon tweeted that he was sure Earth couldn't wait to be completely under Zuck's thumb, with no other options for people to fall back on. He's obviously throwing shade at the CEO of Meta, calling him a bully and a dictator. And if that comment wasn't bad enough, when a Twitter user jokingly warned Musk about Zuckerberg's jujitsu skills, he decided to poke the bear even more by saying that he would totally be up for a cage match against Mark. Now, the CEO of Meta wasn't going to just sit there and let himself be humiliated, so he fired back with an Instagram story, channeling the spirit of Khabib Nurmagomedov by saying, send me the location. After that comment, the game was definitely on. And since Musk is always up for a challenge, he instantly picked the Vegas Octagon as the spot for the showdown. The guy also brought on an extra level of spice to the online feud by saying that he would finally get the chance to perform one of his great moves called the Walrus, which is technically just him lying on top of his opponent and doing nothing. Boy, was that a sick burn. Many people thought this fight wouldn't actually happen, considering that Musk has a habit of making empty threats online. But then the situation changed when UFC president Dana White confirmed it, saying that the two men were dead serious about fighting each other. He also revealed that he had proper conversations with both billionaires when their beef started going viral, and it looks like they're ready to trade blows for real. Always being the hype man, White said he was super pumped about the potential fight, saying that it would be the biggest event in history, smashing all pay-per-view records. And he's not wrong because it's not just the MA fans who would tune in, but everyone would be stocked to watch the clash between these tech giants, who also happen to be some of the richest men alive. Keeping that in mind, it seems like the UFC president plans to milk the publicity he's getting with this fight by charging a 100 bucks for the Musk Zuckerberg bout. And to help you understand how big that is, the previous biggest pay-per-view fight in the UFC was the iconic Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather back in 2017 which raked in over $600 million in cash. But from the looks of it, the showdown between Elon and Mark has the potential to triple that figure. That's insane. Now, with that kind of dough flowing in, don't think this fight is just about the two men padding their already overflowing bank accounts, because Dana mentioned that Musk and Zuckerberg aren't in it for the money. Instead, they would each choose a charitable organization to support and raise millions of dollars for a good cause. With all of those niceties out of the way, though, the news of the fight has set social media on fire. Many people have started debating on who would be the last man standing, and they've also added to the hype by flooding the internet with thousands of memes and mocked up posters. Hell, even business consultants like Satie Taylor are getting in on the action. This guy went on Twitter and asked people to choose their fighter while attaching pictures of the two tech bosses. But it doesn't just stop there. The Solana NFT project, Mad Lads, also joined the Musk mania by dropping a deepfake video on Twitter using clips from the 2021 UFC fight between Poirier and McGregor and editing it to make it look like it was Elon knocking out Zuckerberg instead before walking away and celebrating his win. Many people have also started calling this fight a death match, considering both of the rivals have had some experience in fighting before. And in that case, they're taking sides as to who would win based on their current fighting skills. For those who are Team Musk, their argument is that this guy was involved in some real hardcore street fights while he was growing up in South Africa. Elon also didn't hold back when admitting he got beaten up pretty badly in a few of those brawls. And let's not forget his training in martial arts. The former Twitter CEO has previously revealed on the Joe Rogan podcast that he had studied Judo, Kyokushin Karate, and Taekwondo as a child. So there's no doubt beneath that brilliant mind lies a hidden fighting spirit. On the other side of the ring, we've got Zuckerberg, who's been flexing his MMA training on social media for a hot minute. In May 2023,
he made waves in the martial arts community by winning a gold and a silver medal at a Brazilian jiu-jitsu tournament in California. That's super impressive considering it was his first tournament ever. And to add to his achievement, the CEO of Meta says he nailed the grueling Murph Challenge workout in under 40 minutes. Safe to say this guy will definitely have some tricks saved under his belt, but you also need to consider the physical stats here. The thing is, Musk has a bit of an edge in terms of size. According to the official stats, he's a towering 6 foot 1 and weighs 178 pounds, while Zuckerberg is on the shorter side at 5 foot 7 and weighing 154 pounds. At this point, only time will tell whether Elon's height and weight will give him an advantage in the ring. But regardless of who has the upper hand here, it's clear none of the two are going down without a fight. So the real question is, what are they even going to achieve from this? Some people think the timing of this bout is a bit too convenient for Elon and Zuckerberg, and it's all planned out to distract us from some not-so-great news. You see, just before the Rumble, Meta announced that it would be cutting off access to news on their platforms in Canada because the government passed a new law that demands Meta pay up for linking to local news sources. Meanwhile, Musk's reputation has taken a hit recently, with data showing a 13-point drop in net favorability among U.S. adults. I mean, all those Twitter fights were never going to get him anywhere popular, but even Tesla's rep suffered a few dings because of his behavior. So, it looks like a high-stakes fight might just be the perfect distraction for both the billionaires and the people who support them. In the end, though, let's also not ignore the vanity part here. We know both Musk and Zuckerberg seem to have a taste for being big and bold. Elon, especially, has a knack for grabbing media attention. Remember when he smoked dope on Joe Rogan's show? Or the time he appointed his dog as the CEO of Twitter? And Mark's the type of guy who reportedly styles his hair to resemble Augustus Caesar. So, what happens when you put two super competitive people in the same tech space? You get a rivalry that has been going on for years. Yep, these two never back down when it's time to throw jabs at each other's companies. In early 2023, Musk took a swing at Instagram saying that it makes people depressed. And who can forget the aftermath of the Cambridge Analytica scandal in 2018 when he went as far as to delete the Tesla and SpaceX Facebook pages, calling the social media platform lame. He even talked about avoiding using Facebook because it doesn't feel like a safe space. But Mark wasn't going to take these jabs sitting down and has been throwing punches right back at Musk. Back in 2016, after a SpaceX launch failure ended up wrecking a Facebook satellite, Mark wasted no time in blaming Elon for screwing it up. He said he was disappointed because the satellite would have provided connectivity to lots of entrepreneurs. That's not all. One of the major arguments they've had online was when Musk was vocal about the potential dangers of AI, even going so far as to predict doomsday scenarios. Zuckerberg, on the other hand, has called the former Twitter CEO's views on AI really negative and has accused him of being irresponsible too. Geez, no wonder all these years of going back and forth have reached a point where they can only settle the dust through a violent fight. So there have it, from the two richest men alive having a history of tech rivalry to Elon challenging Mark to a cage fight after calling him a social media bully. This was why Elon Musk versus Mark Zuckerberg would be the biggest fight in history.